Hi guys, welcome to this um, system. Take two, this time with sound. We have um, this particular system, it's Plasma, it's a desktop, you like it, you hate it. It's a possibility, 22 desktops. And we start with um, an ISO that came on May. And we just keep updating, that's what it means to be rolling. Just install once and update, update, update. Topic of the video is to give some kind of overview of uh, graphical installers and also to promote again Pac-Man. This is a great timing in the sense that um, Pac-Man received a major update and maybe a little bit too soon but anyway it's there we have it we need to get along with it. So version 6 is out version 5 used to be and because of those uh, changes some of the applications don't work at this point in time still this is the date, right? PAMIC AWAR, PAMIC AWAR, PAMIC in short is out. It's a product coming from Manjaro. So Manjaro team needs to, to figure that out, but they're not in, in any rush because they have their own packages, their own Pac-Man. So everything is probably gonna be working just fine on Manjaro, but it's Arch Linux that's um, updated Pac-Man 6. And we all need to, to, uh, to follow along. All right, so an overview of, of Pac-Man. But first, let me promote the Pac-Man Manager. What is the Pac-Man Manager? Well, the guy that we see here, pseudo Pac-Man, is what we type all the time. And even if you don't know that you're typing it, when you type update to your system, you're actually typing this, pseudo Pac-Man minus SYYU. So never forget that. If you're on Arch Linux in phase five, we will work in, in, uh, in a course like it, phase one, two, three, five. Uh, you can eventually, after a few years, even develop your own distro and then make your own spin-off, like for example, Hefty Linux is one of the spin-offs we have. And um, you need to learn about small steps as usual and small things. How do you eat an elephant spoon by spoon, said a professor to me, and that's right. Take small steps in Linux and, and in a few years you're gonna be a guru so to say so to speak so updating your system how do you know do that how do you learn about that so the man pacman there is always a manual out there often not always often a manual read if you do not care if you don't like reading then it's not for you just use another system it's not your operating system you need to read uh, code and read instructions and follow instructions and watch videos and then you'll get somewhere. I have this uh, choice I've made to have ZSH so we can have an alias and we just type to ZSH and then we have, uh, it doesn't work here, but then you are in ZSH and then you get these things, minus S and then tap. So I can go further than just installing sudo pacman minus s Firefox, but I can also say let me let me remove me the old packages. That's the C, and another C is, is also uh, moving the broken packages. Display syntax for the given operation. List all packages in a repository. So it's a lot to take in. That's the S. There's also the Q for query. Lots of things there. Q. And R is one other one that you need to know. There are more of these letters, but three, these three, S, R, and Q are for me the most important ones. If you know those, then you'll be just fine. Don't need to learn everything by heart. It's here, right? There's the D, there's Q, there's R, there's the S, there's the T, the U, the F, the V. That's it. That's what you have uh, as possibilities. So Pac-Man is our package manager, hence the name Pac-Man Package Manager. This is where it all happens in the terminal and everything, every graphical user interface that you ever gonna click is going to give pass commands through to this uh, system, this package manager. So what do we have on Linux? Well, this is Plasma. By default, Plasma gives you Discover. And I've just installed Krita in my first attempt to make the video. So I can take another example, Digicam. And 
If everything works fine, that's great, and it gets installed. If there are issues about packages, versions, dependencies, then most likely it's not going to be very nice and, and not you might not know it because it's in a graphical user interface. If it's in a black screen, this thing, as we call black screen and terminal, right? Then you read it and you say, error, there is no lib this and no lib that and all stuff like that. So you see what's going on inside the terminal much more than inside a graphical user interface. But both have their usage and both have their advantages. It's entirely up to you to choose because that's the basics of Linux. Freedom. Choose whatever you want. Let nobody tell you what to choose. You choose. So there is Discover, fine. There is also GNOME software, which I have installed in my first attempt in the video. So it's already there. And that's this. What I did was just type some commands, sudo pacman minus s gnome software. And at some point in time, you get the packages, you know the packages, you know them by heart, you can just type along and boom, you've got your gnome software, this. And it's nice, it's beautiful. Um, I don't know, games maybe. Have a look, wait for everything to come in. Needs to be restarted, yeah, because we, we installed it. Eh? But here you are, lots of packages that you can install and have fun with. So, there's Pac-Man, there is Pamac. Yeah, let's let's tackle Pamac. Pamac is installed and it will be installed in the future ISOs, but of course we do hope <laughs> at some point in time that the Manjaro team fixes this. So the error here points to the old Pac-Man version 5 and Pac-Man 6, points to number 13. Hence, of course, hey, I don't have my library. So we wait for PAMIC uh, to be updated by the Manjaro team and it will take its time because PAMIC, uh, sorry, uh, Manjaro uses their own repositories and their own Pac-Man. Clearly distinct uh, or distinctive from, from uh, Arch Linux, it's, it's different. So voila, we, we wait for them uh, to develop that for us. But in the meantime, there's Discover, there's Gnome Software, and there's another one, or two other ones, uh, two other choices. Let's start with Bao, which is now on a repository as well. Bao can update your system, but can also uh, show you some, some information. Um, it's not responding at this point in time. Come on, there we are. Arch repository, flat pack, categories. It takes a while, it seems to load up, but if you want to have audio stuff, this is what I have installed, right? Um, you have the refresh here, you have some click here to show application suggestions, there are some colors if you like to play with coloring, that's all good for me. Light, it is again, some stuff. So these graphical user interfaces are passing along commands to the terminal in the end, in the back end, Pacman still needs to do, do the job. If you do not do that, Pacman cannot manage the package. Because sometimes, depends if you are less than new, let's call it like that, and you start building your own packages and start installing them, with sudo make build and all that, Pacman doesn't know it's there. He does not control it. You've done it yourself, so you need to remove it yourself. That's um, then the trick later on. Installing is fun, but then removing. So all these um, elements are up here all possibilities. So that's your um, bow. Maybe you never heard about it. So that's another way of doing it. And this is probably one you have heard about, I hope. Anyway, that's what this video is for. Octopi is another one. So you can like, have a look at uh, all the packages that Deeping provides and all the packages that are for GNOME, for example, and so on and so on. You can find applications and can also install it. What's more important in my eyes is, for example, you can have a look at the installed. File Roller is a package. It's not from us, Come groups, GNOME, it's here, and so on and so on. You can do all that to, to extract things. And you can have a look at what happens if I install that package. It's gonna put in the user bin an application, file roller. It's gonna put a library there. So in order for this thing to work, 
It needs to have that and also the share. So it gives us an interesting overview and not only for file roller, but also for Arc Link stuff. What exactly um, is installed on my system? What happens to my computer system if I install this or if I install that? So display all groups. If we go back to that and find Arc Link, which is a great idea to do, right? So click on something and say, what, ha what happens if I install Arc Link Arc KDE? user, share, color schemes come in, console comes in, plasma comes in, and Yakuwaki come in, right? So it gives you an overview of what happens to my system. ETC, scale, bin, all the stuff is here, but also in user, share, we put something in there, license, okay, and that's it. So this is Octopi. Um, let's quickly go over the menu structure. You have seen that as well tools and then the options that you can have a look if this is your thing or not i actually clicked on this one last time i've uh, made the video like i said this time with sound i was not able to say do not use aor but use aor so i don't know what this is but uh, i'm sure somebody knows and they can put it underneath in the youtube video like I said, this is not my thing for installing. I understand if you're if you're still new to Linux, you say, oh my God, this thing, I don't get it, right? But do try to start with simple words like update. Update updates your system and the alias update, there it is, sudo pacman minus syyu. Another alias you need to know is up all, which is paru at this point in time, since there were some issues with yay. We've um, gone over to Paru, another AOR, our AOR helper, and there are more like Picower is now also on our system, on our repository. And a repository is basically a kind of shop software store, and we build it for you. These packages are coming from AOR. We build it, you don't have the time or the process power, etc. etc. And we build it uh, for you. We just say boom install and you've got yourself a picower which is another AOR helper what did i do yeah did i install it now oh is it with the k yeah okay <laughs> now he knows uh pff, i don't know spotify is already there uh, just update my system. Wow. And now he's passing it along to Pacman. So Picower is taking a look also at the packages from AUR, as you see here, reading AUR packages, but since there are none, it won't do any updates at all. I th hope that covers everything. Did I forget anything? It's, um, I want you to try to use the terminal. That's a message that's very clear. PAMAC is a no-go for today. You know the drill. The Pac-Man 6 needs is update causes this issue and Manjara will fix it. Discover works like a charm in Plasma anyway. So it is this button down here. And then um, we have GNOME software. We have BOW. Yes, I think I've mentioned it all. If I forgot anything, you can put it underneath the video. All right, guys, have fun.